Two amazing Victorian actors who are buried in Brompton Cemetery are also known for their gender-bending roles that they used to portray on the stage. Mary and Robert Keeley, an acting husband and wife whose roles would often challenge gender perceptions of the time, with Mary playing principal boy characters and Robert bombastic, eccentric, almost pantomime dame type characters. Active from the mid to late 19th century, the Keeley's stage performances ran concurrently with a growing debate about how men and women should present themselves in public, notably with the landmark case of Fanny and Stella in 1870. One of Robert's best known roles was that of Mrs Cordell, a character who first appeared in 1845 in Punch magazine and appeared theatrically in a series of performances written by dramatist Douglas Gerald. The character shares many notable similarities with Hyacinth Bouquet from the 90s sitcom Keeping Up Appearances, in terms of her nagging, her love of gossip and indeed her larger than life personality. Drag, as in drag kings or drag queens, is the art of performing gender or turning it on its head and it's very popular amongst the queer community today. But the history of drag goes all the way back. This is the headstone to Nellie Farron. Nellie was a performer and actor and she specialised in a role called the principal boy. This is where a woman would play the role of a male protagonist often meaning that they would be the hero of the play who would romance another damsel, also played by another woman. This was an opportunity for many actresses in restricted Victorian society to play comedic and physical roles and they were incredibly popular. And one of her most famous roles was that of Jack Shepard, who Mary Ann would often play. Again, the two were linked and they are buried very close to each other here in Brompton Cemetery. This is a great example of how someone who probably didn't define as LGBTQ themselves has had a huge impact on queer culture today.